Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick and fight according to Las Vegas, and really falls to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in the UFC careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the true team. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh! Oh, he's hurt back. He needs to start looking for the finish line because he's got it looking for very bad. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. to his feet. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh! Jankton gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. How about that chin? Nice punch there by Caceres. Tick gets stung by that leg kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, right to the mound. Caceres gets back up again. Oh, nice. Nice. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, well, you know about his kicks. They are on point this evening. Beckton gets caught by that straight punch. Beautiful. Right on his hair, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, man. Huge kick to the body. Strike. Bechtick's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Ready, fight. Ready. All right, second round underway. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice kick there by Caceres. DC now looks like he's trying. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. My triangle, my triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch this. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack DNT. If they turn away, they try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in, and you got all your rear choke submissions. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. 
Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the hole. And just like that, the fight is over. He got it! What a performance! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly gonna enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at two minutes, 58 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Alex Bruce Leroy. Ready. Ready to fight. Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper and also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Great punch landing with so much power. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Big kick lands. Nice hook lands. Oh, nice right hand. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, massive. Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Try to establish that jab. Good punch. Ooh, head kick lands on the third. Nice one-two there. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice head kick. And right there, his opponent's wobble chin. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. I mean, he's cutting down the size. Striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Four shots for the end of round one. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. Powerful leg kick land. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna... Oh, oh powerful double leg takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. Down into his mouth. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Nice leg kick. Another nice leg kick there. Ooh, what a punch. All right, so now we see some dirty boxing in the clinch in DC. This has certainly been a big trademark of your success, just finding a home for those punches in these clinch situations. This is where I live. I love fighting in the clinch and landing no strike. There are so many small spaces where you can land really, really good punch. Trying to get that arm underneath the chin. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. He might get a finish here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Now he's gonna try to attack Kimura here. Nicely done. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Nice. It's messed up really bad. Way to hide that leg kick. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same as effective a straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Over and over, he's landed a big body kick. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. He's trying to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. All right, now we take a look back at some of the... All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked Great about fight. his powerful kicks, Great. how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him, too. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level. Oh, oh, oh that's the biggest shot in the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just for his strikes. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish out. Oh, he might be out. This is his game here. Control your opponent's posture. Land the... All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here or Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. You got to whip his hip into that kick. There's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, four seconds of round number three. We're playing the winner by... Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. The there are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans.
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this guy. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. Landed a big kick there. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Knee to the body, now it's blocked. Oh, now he's got the tie plumb, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. So just over 20 total strikes and counting have now landed for Colby Covington. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Ooh. Nice. Whoa! Oh, that's on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Oh! Can't take many of those. You better check. Nice jab from Colby Covington. You know, it's amazing to think not all that long ago people didn't take it down, cut him, take it down, cut him. Over and over, he secured these takedowns. All right, north south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 52 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Colby! So here we go, the weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this game. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up. And he landed the right hand there. Kamalov gets in the clinch yet again. He's gonna try to take him down, there you go. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. And he's back up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination of top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Trying to establish that jab once again. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. Now trying to isolate an arm. Yeah, he's trying to go to a Kimura lock right here. He'll either try to get the submission or use the sweep. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. No, he actually goes to an Omoplata. 
great pressure going forward by the top fighter now. You can certainly count on one hand and not tapping out tonight. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Got the full mount. Oh, back up again. You can't hold it. the good man down. Man down. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly stepping right there. Man, that's right. Very effective. Just misses there with the left. Ten seconds. Straight punch land. Back and forth we go. in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Flush right hand is true. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Kabbalah's looking to pass in the half guard here, but he's denied. Working on a guillotine. Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's got to recognize this is dangerous. This is a dangerous position. Oh, he might have got him in the choke. Bottom fighter trying to control sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Both fighters get up now. Can't take many of those. You better check. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the... Oh! oh. oh. See the land right there. His opponent's wobble check. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to rest. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Yeah, nice short elbows in the clinch here by Kabbalah. Big ball rush land. How we get back to range? Nice body. Yeah, left hook found its target. And they separate. Lands with the right hand. Great action to get to that takedown. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedown. Under a minute to go. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Side control now. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, very scary proposition for the opponent. Pretty significant well to the left side. All right, so when this combination sets up the takedown there, he is not a one-trick pony. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission, another attempt here.
problem with rolling leg lock in MMA, man, is you get beat up, especially if you're a little bit hurt. He should be defending right now. That was okay. Down to the skin. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as he gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound. Oh, uh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to working the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, an obvious limp there is for certain. Ooh, big shot lands. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start doing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force him of a stage in over one Liver kick. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking round early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. All right, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's going to shoot for another takedown, and I would almost be willing to... Kabalov gets the takedown. Well, his wrestling has been a great equalizer thus far in his UFC career and gets the single leg takedown. And you know that it's his shot. It's his shot of choice, a single leg takedown, and he's securing it, and he's doing it and scored it over and over again. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Just missed with the left there. Good stick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Lunges forward with a left there. Nice kick. How the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Patty! The Patty! Ready. Ready for Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. It's hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the court. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Oh! Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, beautiful level change. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah. Oh, there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike in the night. Oh, pretty good entry there, and he gets the fight to his wheelhouse on the ground. 
Beautiful takedown into the full guard. It's good for him to posture and use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Punch over the top. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just lower. It's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at both movements in the zone. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. How about that chin? Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. Holy smoke! Put him to sleep! Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Holy smokes! What a fight! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 15 seconds of the very first round. We're playing the winner by knockout, Alex Poetak Herrera! All right, here he is for my money, Michael the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. consecutive heavyweight title defenses, the Cleveland-based firefighter Stipe Miocic back from more time. Going into our fight at UFC 226, he was universally considered the greatest heavyweight champion of all time. And that was rightfully deserved by beating Francis Ngannou, by beating Alistair Overeem, by beating Mauricio Verdue. When you beat guys like that, those honors are cast upon you and you have deserved them. Stipe Miocic is one of the greatest fighters the heavyweight division has ever seen. Now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Miacic is 37, Verdum is 43. Miacic weighed in at 240 pounds. He will have a three inch reach advantage. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 24 wins, nine losses, and one draw. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 231 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Fabrizio!
And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, four losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Independence, Ohio, Deepay Miocic! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. One, two there from the heavyweight champ, Steve Mitchell. That's his best combination. His best combination is to throw the right hand behind the jab. Not much else comes from my experience, but that one, two is as deadly as any one, two in the entire UFC. 26 total strikes have already landed for Steve Mitchell. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg oh, that's That one right. appeared to stun him. He's a throw. Excellent ground and pound there by Miocic, put the guard beautifully there. Oh! Back to the feet! Now goes in and secures the takedown! Back to the feet! That shot blocked by Purdue. Oh! Huge right hand! so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought he did a good job of doing just that. Right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched glove. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally... Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called the stop to this contest at two minutes, 56 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Steve Perry. 